Well, hello, my dear Pisces. Welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast on the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies, here's your mid-month reading for December. General reading, take what resonates. Leave the rest for everyone else. Okay, wow, wow. All right, if it does resonate with you and you want me to resonate with your energy, you want to claim the reading or just tell me where you're watching from, I do get a kick out of that. Throw a comment below the video. Thanks again for your likes. Thanks for your subscribes, for supporting the channel. I appreciate you. And we have a story of personal manifestation at the end of this video. This one was really cool. <laughs> you're going to love it. So if you, if you want um, to hear about that, if it helps with your manifestation pro uh, practice, then listen all the way through the video. We've got the star, we've got the three of fire, we've got the ten of earth, and we have the three of earth. Nice, nice, nice. So what's the star about? Inspiration. You're inspired again. You're hopeful. You're renewed. You have that renewed deliciousness and enthusiasm, that encouragement this week. And it's, it's really driving you forward. Driving you to something that, that's going to give you a positive outcome based on what I see here. You know, you've got this three of fire, and that's about expansion. You're expanding. Opportunities. Doors are opening. You're creative. Doesn't get more delicious than that. You've got the three of earth and the ten of earth. And, you know, <clears throat> the three of earth is about working as a team. Sorry. Building to build the foundation. So maybe some of you are, um, and I'll get to the 10 in a second. Some of you are working in a team environment on a project. Some of you are working in a team environment um, to build some kind of small business. Uh, it's, it's about collaboration. Maybe you're working on something on the side or you're working in a small business of your own and you're the, you're the boss, but allowing others to contribute to the ideas that help you be successful. And boy, success. Ten of Earth, affluence, material abundance, mastery, financial security. Ding, ding, ding. You know, and Pisces doesn't normally think too much about money unless, of course, they have like Leo or Scorpio in their chart, you know. Wow, that was fast. So, yeah. So what do we have here? Okay. All right, so let's see on the bottom of the deck. Oh, let's throw that out there. Okay, so what do we have? We have the Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands and the Spirits that pick the deck on the bottom, Ace of Swords, and we also have the Four of Rods. Okay, can you see all those in the frame? Yeah, all right. So let's talk, shall we? This is about moving away from something. Something doesn't feel, you know, something feels like it's missing, okay? And so that feeling that something is missing is going to move out of your energetic space this week because you're jazzed again, you know? And you've got the King of Pentacles, all right? Increases in finance, when we take action, increases and in support for your ideas, letting them flow. So you definitely have money in your chart this week for sure. I'm sorry, and I'm doing the mid month. Money for the rest of the month for sure. I apologize. Um, you have that money coming in. You're going to see that boost. Actual physical concrete proof that you're getting that affluence, that wealth, that abundance. And you also, with abundance, you get a little bit of peace. You get a little bit more harmony in your, um, in your life. Strong female energy here, entrepreneurial. So lots of side gigs, lots of opportunities. And so you've got the Ace of Swords, which is always about new beginnings, new ways of thinking of things, new projects, new opportunities. But this is also about cutting through the BS. 
you see clearly what's in front of you. Okay. So this is for the last two weeks of December and you're building that. Here's the foundation celebration cause for celebration. The foundation here. This is also 1111. Look, manifestation. You're manifesting what you want. And who doesn't deserve that, my Pisces brothers and sisters? So for the remainder of December, the last part of December, kill a reading. Oh my gosh. Sorry about calling it a weekly. I'm doing so many weeklies these days. But yeah, this is your 16th to the 31st reading. And it's delicious. And since I also share Pisces as my sun sign, I am so excited about this. All right, so before we get to the story, thanks for clicking the button and subscribe to the channel. Let's talk about this story I call an unexpected, I don't know, zing in Prague, okay? Let's call it that. So I was in Prague. I was uh, ended up there one summer uh, visiting, and I was on a tour. And this was the typical tour, you know, it, but uh, it was like this uh, tour of the city. It was a walking tour. It was very interesting. But I always wanted, you know, a spiritual twist to things. So uh, as we're going through the tour, it was very nice. And I'm like, hey, spirit, you know, I really like this to get a spiritual spin, you know. And we walked into the plaza uh, in Prague. And here I am standing on something, and I can feel something under my feet, a tingle, a little energy. And I look down, and there's a little medallion. It was one of the ley lines of the planet that was marked in that plaza that I'm standing over. And I go to the tour guide. I said, so can you tell us about that? And she was like, I don't know anything about that. What, what is that? I said, it's one of the ley lines of the planet. I can feel it. So um, that was fast, you know. Another manifestation, you know, I say things, I laugh, I let it go. And I got an opportunity to experience something truly amazing. How many times do you get to be on a ley line on the planet? How many times do you feel it? And I'm not special. We can all experience these things when we're open and high vibrating. So... If this helps in your manifestation practice or your spiritual practice of any sort, as we all awaken and move towards delicious energy most of the time, then throw a comment below the video if you like this story. If you didn't like the story, honey, you know what you can do. That's right. You don't have to watch all the way through. Hey, enjoy the rest of the month. Sorry for the faux pas there with the, uh, the, with the weekly comment. This is for the last two weeks. Thanks for a lot, your likes and subscribes and have a delicious rest of December, Pisces. It looks like it's going to be fabulous for you. Just fabulous. My sisters and brothers, take care.